Hello, I'm Eric Langhorst. Welcome to today's episode of What Are You Printing on Your 3D Printer? A video journal of the things we're printing in my classroom at Discovery Middle School in Liberty, Missouri. So on Monday this week, I had a student throwing away an Altoids empty tin in my classroom. And I stopped her and I said, no, no, don't throw that away. You can do a bazillion things with those. So she said, well, I'm just gonna toss it. Do you want it? I said, sure. So I took this tin, I went online, and there's an entire culture of things that you can make with this tin. So I began to think, what if I 3D printed something that I could then incorporate into the tin? So I did a quick search. There's tons and tons of designs of things that you can 3D print and put inside this particular tin. There are literally hundreds of ideas online for things that you can make with these tins. You can make survival kits, fishing kits, um, all kinds of little uh, things for putting watercolors for painting, um, little uh, scenes, all kinds of stuff. My favorite though were different organizers. So I went online and on Thingiverse, I was able to find an organizer. Um, this one was put up by Balder Art and Design and they had several different designs. This one is made to have kind of two larger compartments and then the four smaller ones. They also had designs where there was just one line down the middle or they divided it up into smaller different sections. But I decided to uh, make one of these. So I printed this off in red PLA filament with my Dremel 3D40 printer. And when I came to school this morning, it was finished. I took my tin, popped in my 3D print, and voila, I have got a cool new organizer. I can put uh, different types of things in there, still kind of deciding on what I want to use this for or if I want to change it out and do something different. But I thought this was a great way to kind of recycle these tins. A lot of times students have these in the classroom or maybe uh, family members have them. And then I also found some things online where you could make organizers or print organizers where you could have different stacks of them, put different kinds of nuts and bolts and tools or something. Great for a maker space. So that's what I was printing this week on my Dremel 3D printer. Thanks. Check us out online at History Geek Teacher.